Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me here again in UPPGH. So this morning, we're going to discuss the topic on the government employees involvement and responsibility in political activities. So we're going to focus on the code of conduct and ethical standards for public officials and employees or the Republic Act 6713. No? So kasi dapat malaman nyo ito bilang empleyado ng gobyerno. Pangalawa, we're going to discuss the Omnibus Election Code. No? The Omnibus Election Code of the Philippines or Batas Pambansa bilang 881 or the BP 881. And of course, the list of prohibited acts during the election period. No? And of course, the mental health tips to cope with the election. No? So we will discuss first the basic, no? kung ano yung respons responsibilidad nyo bilang uh, mga empleyado ng gobyerno. And I would like to highlight here no, the, the prohibited acts during the uh, election period being a government employee. Okay? So public office is a public trust. No? Public office is a public trust. Why? Because being elected or being appointed, so meron tayong dalawang klase na public office. No? Elected, et, ito sila yung mga nahalal. No? Ito sila yung mga nahalal. Like for example, the president, the vice president. So isa sila sa mga example ng uh, elective officials, elective government officials, and we have we have also appointed, no? Like for example, the cabinet secretaries, the heads of the, of the different departments, they are uh, appointed, no? And being a public trust, a public officer, no? You are subject to public scrutiny. Meaning to say that if you are subject to public scrutiny, the public has the right to know your office. Like for example, in the event that there is an anomaly in your office, no, the general public has the right to know kung ano ba ang nangyari sa opisina mo. No? But there is an exception to this. No? There is a limitation. No? Even though that a public office is a public trust, if the uh, the security, the security and safety of the country, of the Republic of the Philippines, is at stake, no, that is a limitation. So hindi mo pwedeng pakialaman yun, no, pertaining to the safety and security of the Republic of the Philippines. So meaning to say, ang ibig sabihin ng public office is a public trust, being a public officer, being an, an, an elected official, being an appointed official, ang mamamayan, ang general public, merong karapatan na mag-usisa tungkol sa inyong opisina no? para magtanong, mag-inquire, no? Ito nga yung ating sinasabi kanina. No? So we will discuss first the Republic Act 6713. No? In Section 2, no? uh, it defines the declaration of policies. No? Wherein this law no? or this um, Republic Act 6713, it promotes no? high standard of ethics in public service. So tayo ay inexpect no na meron tayong high moral, a good or high standard of ethics. And public officials and employees shall at all times be accountable to the people. So dapat maging accountable tayo sa uh, mamamayan natin, no? And 
we are expected to discharge utmost responsibility, integrity, competence, and loyalty. No? Of course, kasama na dyan yung patriotism, justice, modest lives. You have to lead in the modest lives. And uphold, this is very important, uphold public interest over personal interest. No? So, uunahin mo muna ang serbisyo bago ang iyong kapakanan. In section 4, no, this is the norms of conduct of public officials wherein every public officials or employee shall observe the following standards of personal conduct in the discharge of their official duties. So first, commitment to the public, uh, to public interest. Public officials, employees shall always uphold, ito yung sinasabi ko nina, no? the public interest at the public interest over and above personal interest. So unahin mo muna ang kapakanan, kapakanan ng mamamayan bago ang pansarili mong uh, interest. Second, prefer, uh, professionalism. Public officials and employees shall perform or discharge their official duties to the highest degree of excellence. No? So dapat maganda dapat professional tayo, no? With uh, professionalism, intelligence and skill, justness and sincerity. Public officials and employees shall remain true to the people at all times, no? So dapat um, maging transparent tayo, no? Next, political neutrality. Public officials and employees shall provide service to everyone without unfair discrimination. Ito ang very common sa ating uh, pampublikong opisina. Regardless of party, affiliation, or preference. In the Philippines, ito yung ating usual na problem. Pag hindi mo kaalyado no, sa politika, ay itsapwera ka. No? Dapat meron tayong political neutrality. Responsiveness to the public. No? Public officials and employees shall extend prompt, no, courteous, and adequate service to the public. No? Hanggat maari, dapat mabilis tayo no? umaksyon kung ano ang kinakailangan ng publiko. Nationalism and patriotism. Public officials and employees shall at all times no? be loyal to the Republic of the Philippines no? or to the people itself to promote no? use of local produced goods and products. No? So dapat patriotic tayo. Commitment to democracy. It is very important, no? Public officials and employees shall commit themselves to the democratic way of life and values. Maintain the principle of public accountability, no? So we must be committed, no, to democracy. We have public accountability being a government employee. And last but not the least, simple living. No, public officials and employees and their families shall lead no, modest lives appropriate to their positions and income. No, kasi yung iba, no, sobrang uh, maluho. No? So dapat lead in a modest lives appropriate to your position. Okay. In section 7, we have prohibited acts and transactions. So what are those? The following shall constitute prohibited acts and transactions of any public officials and employee and are hereby declared to be unlawful. So meaning to say, kung unlawful siya, no? so hindi siya lawful kasi unlawful. No? Financial and material interest. Public officials and employees shall not directly or indirectly have any financial or material interest in any transaction requiring approval of their office. Ito yung common sa atin, no? Itong common sa atin sa ating gobyerno, no? If it is, um, kung mer meron tayong mga kliyente, no? Um, na may mga transaksyon sa ating opisina, no? Minsan 
uh, papaburan pag may ganitong offer. No? So dapat hindi yun. Outside employment and other activities related there too. No? So marami ito. No? Marami ito. Like for example, kung government employee ka, no? you own or control, manage, or accept employment as officer, employee, consultant, counsel, etc. No? So bawal din yan. Pinagbabawal din ng, ng batas. Unless it was, or unless it is expressly stated in the law. No? Second, engage in, in the private practice of their profession. No? Unless authorized by the constitution or law. Like for example, if you are the president of the Republic of the Philippines, if you are the vice president, then you are prohibited. If you are a lawyer, then if you are the president, you are prohibited to practice your profession as a lawyer. No? But there are some uh, limitations to that. Like for example, if you are a member of the, of the uh, Sangguniang Panilawigan or sang, Sangguniang Bayan no? or Sangguniang Panlungsod, no? provided that that there is an approval from your immediate superior no that you will be allowed to practice that you that you are uh, that you can practice your your profession then it's okay no and also recommend any person to any position in any private enterprise which has a regular or pending official transactions in your office no like for example merong kang uh, kakilala na gusto mag-apply no tapos pinadala mo na sulat kasi uh, padrino ka no hindi yan pwede no and also disclosure and or uh, misuse of confidential information public officials and employees shall not use or divulge confidential or classified information officially known to them by reason of their office and not made available to the public no so either it could be uh, private interest or uh, or give undue advantage to anyone or let's say uh, prejudice to the public interest no solicitation or acceptance of gifts no ito rin no public officials or and employees shall not solicit no tandaan niyo ito so not solicit or accept directly no directly or indirectly any gift gratuity favor, entertainment, loan, or anything monetary or anything of monetary value from any person in the course of their official duty. So bawal sa atin bilang um, kawani ng gobyerno, no? kawani ng pamahalaan ng tumanggap no? ng mga uh, gifts, no? ng, mga, ng, mga, ng aginaldo, no? in relation to our official duties no but you know there is a uh, there is a exemption to this as to the gifts grants from the foreign governments no the congress consents no pinapayagan naman no the acceptance and retention by a public official or employee of a gift of nominal ang sinasabi dito nominal value tendered and received as a souvenir or mark of courtesy so pwede yan siya no the acceptance of public uh, official or employee of a gift in nature of a scholarship so pwede yan a scholarship uh, fellowship or medical treatment pwede yan siya and also uh, acceptance of public official or employee of travel grants or expenses for travel taking place entirely outside the Philippines no of nominal value so dapat ang sinasabi ng batas nominal value lang no tandaan niyo yan okay we come now to the list of prohibited acts during the election per period. No? So this is based on the Omnibus Election Code of the Philippines. Ito ang very rampant. No? Vote buying and vote selling. So an ano ba ang kategory niyan? An paano ba natin maklasify yan? Any person, no? Any person who gives, offers, or promises money or, or anything of value, gives or promises any office or employment, franchise or grant, public or pri private or mixed offers to make an expenditure directly or indi indirectly or cause an expenditure to made to any person, association, corporation, etc. 
What else? Any person or association or corporation or group of, com of community who solicits no? or receives directly or indirectly any expenditure of any office or employment. No? So pwede niyang makonsider yan na vote buying. Conspiracy to bribe uh, voters. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? So like for example, uh, two or more persons, whether candidates or not, who come to an agreement concerning the commission of any violation no? of uh, what I've said a while ago, no? of vote buying, no? can be considered as a prohibited uh, act. Wagering upon result of election. No? So ito yung pumupusta. No? Any person who bets or wagers upon the outcome no? of any contingency connected to, with an election. No? Nagpupustahan sila. No? Any money or thing or value or deposit of money of thing value situated anywhere in the Philippines put as such bet or wager shall be forfeited to the government. No? Coercion of, of uh, election officials and employees. No? Ito yung mga namimilit. No? Any public officer or any officer of any public or private corporation. Please take note. No? Public or private corporation or association or any head superior or administrator of any religious organization or any employer or landowner who coerce, no? pinilit ka, intimidate, tinakot ka or compels Pinilit ka in any manner influence directly or, in, or directly, directly or indirectly any of his subordinates or members or parishioners, for example, uh, nagasamba ka tapos pinilit ka. No? For example, uh, sa inyong uh, religious organization, pinilit ka ng ministro nyo or ng pari. No? So hindi yan pwede. No? Na ito yung iboto nyo. No? That's coercion of subordinates. Or any public or uh, public officer or any officer of any commercial, industrial, agricultural, economic, or social enterprise, or public or private corporation, or association, or any head, superior, or administrator of any religious organization na, na, na milit, no? Like for example, if you are an employer, no, em employer ka, tapos uh, sinabihan mo yung kasama mo sa bahay, dapat ito ang iboto nyo. No? So hindi pwede yun. Threats, intimidation, terrorism, use of uh, fraudulent device or other forms of coercion. No? So ano, ano naman ito? No? Any person, so kahit sino, any person who directly or indirectly threatens, no? intimidates, tinakot ka, no? or actually causes, inflicts, or produces any violence. So, no? so may violence na. Injury, punishment, damage, loss, or disadvantage upon any person or persons or that of immediate members of his family. So yan. Hindi rin pwede yan. Coercion of election officials and employees. Ano ba ito? No? Okay. Coercion of election of official employees. Any person who directly or indirectly threatens, intimidates, terrorizes, or coerces election official or employee in the performance of his election function or duties. No? Ito yun sila yung uh, namimilit or tinitreaten kayo no? na iboto nyo itong taong ito. No? Appointment of new um, employees, creation of new position, promotion or giving salary increases. So during the period of uh, 45 days before the regular election and 30 days before a special election, any head or official or appointing officer of government, office, agency or instrumentality, whether national or local, please take note, no? Who, what? An, an, anong ginawa dito? No? Whether national or local, owned or uh, GOCC or the government-owned or controlled corporation, who appoints? No? Nag-appoint siya. No? Who appoints or hires any new employee, whether provisional 
temporary or casual. No? Or creates or fills any position except upon prior authority of the commission. Please take note that during the period of 45 days before a regular election and 30 days before a special election. No? So on May 9, we have the regular election. So 45 days. So bawal. No? Any head, official, bawal ka mag-appoint. No? 45 days before. But there is some exception to that. Now, as an exception to the foregoing provisions, a new employee may be appointed in case of urgent need. No, kung talagang kinakailangan, no, na, na mag-appoint, pwede naman. Provided there is a proviso or proviso, provided that the notice of appointment shall be given to the commission within three days from the date of the appointment. So any appointment or hiring in violation of this provision shall be null and void. Or any government official who promotes or gives any increase or salary, increase of salary or remuneration or privilege to any government official or employee, including, including those in government owned or controlled corporation. No? So in increase niya, bawal din iyon. Transfer of officers and employees in the civil service. No? Any public official who makes or causes any transfer or detail with whatever of any officer or employee in the civil service, including the public school teachers within the election period. So bawal din iyon. No? And uh, of course, no intervention of public officers and employees. No? Any officer or employee in the civil service exit those holding political offices. Any officer, employee, or member of the armed forces of the Philippines or any police force, special forces, home defense forces, barangay self-defense units, and all other paramilitary units that now exist or which may be hereafter be organized who directly or indirectly intervenes in any election campaign or engages in any partisan political activity. No? So bawal din siya. Except those, except to vote or to preserve public order if he is a peace officer. Undue influence. It is unlawful for any person to promise any office or, or employment, public office or private, to make or offer to make an expenditure directly or indirectly. No? So, i-influensyan mo siya. Unlawful electioneering, ito, very common ito. It is unlawful to solicit votes or undertake any propaganda on the day of registration no? before the Board of Election, Board of Election Inspectors and on the day of election for, uh, for or against any candidate or any political party within the polling place and with a radius of 30 meters thereof. No? So bawal yan. No? Unlawful electioneering. Prohibition about dismissal of uh, prohibition against dismissal of employees, laborers, or tenants. So no employee or laborer shall be dismissed. No? Nor a tenant be rejected from his land, land holdings or, or uh, for refusing or failing to vote. So bawal yan. No? Bawal yan. Na ipipilitin nyo. No? Yung inyong mga tenants. Appointment or use of special policemen, special agents, confidential agents, or the like. No, so during the the the, uh, the campaign period, no, so bawal din yan, no. Illegal release of prisoners before and after election, no. So pinagbabawal din yan, mag uh, mag release ka ng prisoners before and after election. Use of public funds, money deposited in trust, equipment, facilities owned or controlled by the government for an election campaign no like for example merong merong um, isang uh, the incumbent mayor tapos ginamit niya yung facility ng government kasi merong merong machine ang kanilang uh, LGU no for printing ginamit yun para magprint ng mga tarpaulins no so bawal iyon 
deadly weapons. Any person who carries the, uh, any deadly weapon in the polling place and within a radius of 100 meters. Please take note on that. 100 meters thereof during the days and hours fixed by law for the registration of voters in the polling place. No? Uh, except doon sa mga lugar, no? Na there is a, uh, a fray or turmoil or disorder, no? Any peace officer or public officer are authorized by the Commission on Election to supervise, no? With, uh, or they are entitled to carry firearms. Carrying firearms outside residence or place of business. Now, any person who although possessing a permit to carry firearms carries any firearms outside the residence or place of business during the election period. No? So, bawal din yan. Unless uh, authorized by the Commission on Election. Use of armored land, water, or uh, aircraft. Any person who uses during the campaign period on the day before and on election day, any armored land, water, or aircraft provided with any temporary permanent equipment or any other device or contraption for the mounting or installation of cannons, machine guns, and other similar high caliber firearms. So, bawal din yan. Okay. Wearing of uniforms and bearing arms during the, the election campaign on the day before and on the election day. No? So any member of the security or police organization, so pinagbabawalan din yan sila. No? And uh, policemen and, and provincial guards acting as bodyguards or security guards during the election campaign or during the campaign on the day before and on election day, any member of the city or municipal police force or any provincial or sub-provincial guard, any member of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, Special Forces, Home Defense, Barangay Self-Defense Units, and all other paramilitary units that now exist or which may hereafter be organized to act as a bodyguard or security guard of any public official, candidate, or any other person and any, uh, and any of the latter who utilizes the services of the former like bodyguard or security guard. So yan ay pinagbabawal din. No? Organization or maintenance of uh, reaction forces, strike forces, or other similar forces. No? Bawal din yan. Prohibition against release, disbursement, or expenditure of public funds. No? So this is very obvious. No? So bawal talaga yan. And uh, prohibition against construction of public works, delivery of materials for public works and issuance of treasury warrants and similar devices. During the, the period of um, 45 days preceding a regular election and 30 days before special election, basta tandaan nyo, 45 days on a regular election and 30 days before special election, bawal yan, no? undertakes the construction of any public works or exempt for projects or works exempted no kung, kung exempted siya okay lang no issues or use, uses or avails of treasury warrants or any device undertaking future delivery of money goods or other things of value chargeable against public funds suspension on of elective uh, provincial uh, city municipal or barangay officer the provisions of the law to the contrary, notwithstanding during the election period, any public official who suspends, no, who suspends without prior approval of the commission election, any elective provincial, city, or municipal or barangay officer, unless said suspension will be or for purposes applying the anti-graft and corrupt practices act. How about on registration of voters? No? Here, no, uh, during the registration of voters, any person having all the qualifications and none of the disqualifications as a, as a voter fails without a justifiable excuse to register as a voter in an election, plebiscite referendum in which he is qualified to vote. No? So, madami yan. And on voting, any person who fails cast his vote without justifiable excuse. Any person who votes more than once in the same election, 
no, ito yung nagdoble-doble na. Who are not being a registered voter votes in an election. So kung hindi ka naman registered, ba't ka buboto? Kaya ang dapat magparehistro na. No? Okay. So we come now to the question and answer portion. As a government employees, no? As a government employees, are you allowed to campaign as a government employees? Pwede ba? Pwede ba kayo mag mag uh, mag-campaign? The answer is yes, no? As civil servants, government employees are allowed to campaign or participate in election related activities provided that it must be within the rules set by the Civil Service Commission and the Commission on Election. So dapat pinafalo natin kung ano yung mga pinababawal no ng Civil Service Commission and the uh, Commission on Election. Pwede naman tayo join. Next question. As government employees, are we allowed to mention the names of the candidates for public office whom we support in our personal social media accounts? It is very common, no? Very common ito kasi ngayon, uh, karamihan sa atin talagang gumagamit ng social media, no? Your sock men. Yes, it is not prohibited, no? As provided in the 1987 Constitution, since it is an extension of freedom of expression by the citizens of the Republic of the Philippines. Because kasama yan sa inyong Bill of Rights, the freedom of expression. It is your constitutional right. No? Next question. Are government employees allowed to take part in political or electoral activities? Pwede ba ang government employees maging parte ng political or electoral activities yes government employees are allowed to take part in political or electoral activities but they are not allowed no so you are not allowed to donate and solicit contribution from or coerce subordinates no so hindi ka pwedeng mag-donate or mag-solicit no at mamamilit ng inyong mga tauhan or inyong mga uh, subordinates okay take note Using social media platforms such as liking, commenting, and sharing online posts are allowed. However, soliciting support for, may sinusuportahan kayo, or against a candidate or a party during the campaign period is prohibited. Again, I would like to highlight that using social media platforms such as liking, commenting, and sharing online posts are allowed. So pwede kayong mag-like, pwede kayong mag-comment, pwede kayong mag-share. No? However, soliciting support, no? hingi ka ng suporta, or humingi ka ng suporta na huwag iboto itong kandidato or itong uh, political party during the, campaign, during the campaign period is prohibited. Okay. Practice, you have to practice caution in your physical and online activities. No? Sabi nga, di ba, ng GMA? Think before you click. No? And be mindful of your social media or any online platform posts. No? So isipin nyo muna ng maigi. Kung kasama ba yan doon sa ipinagbabawal bilang uh, kawani ng gobyerno? No? Okay, question. Placing of posters or tarpaulins by government employees on their private property such as houses, gates, or cars is a violation? Ba violation ba yun? Sabi ng ating batas, no. This falls under the category of distributing political paraphernalia but can be interpreted as merely posting and not campaigning for candidates. In addition, it can be considered also as an expression of personal views and not electioneering. Kung sino dito sa inyo ang taga Bacolod, no, city, this is uh, kung nakita niyo yung picture na iyan, yan ay, ay uh, sa katedral ng ano, ng Bacolod. 
no na ang ginawa ng ng Comelec pinapatanggal nila no pinapatanggal nila yung mga tarpaulins no na nakalagay doon sa kanilang simbahan no hanggang sa umabot ang kasong ito sa korte ngunit no the, the Supreme Court pinanigan ng Supreme Court ang Diocese of Bacolod why itong ating sagot no because no this falls under the category of distributing a political paraphernalia but can be interpreted as a uh, merely posting and not campaigning no so post lang yan ito yung team buhay team patay dati no about doon sa uh, ano nga iyon about doon sa Irish bill no okay and also uh, before i will uh, forget uh, in relation to this uh, case no there is another case here in roa city where i am uh, based right now no uh, merong isang hospital na pinatanggal ng Comelec ang nakalagay na poster sa kanilang ospital no pinatanggal ng Comelec and um, some of the lawyers no nag ano sila nag uh, nag protest no the uh, make a petition to the Supreme Court no for the writ of um, mandamus to stop no for the Comelec to stop yung uplan baklas no so anong, anong ginawa ng Supreme Court ito ay kinatigan ng Supreme Court no okay take note review and examine the contents of your social media posts to ensure that you are not soliciting support or votes for a candidate or political party that's very important another question on activities of government employees serving in the electoral board as as food distribution allowed allowed ba yon no this can fall under prohibitions if done for the benefit of a candidate no if done for the benefit of a candidate giving anything of value to promote a candidate is already considered vote buying no Can government employees share their social media posts showing candidates' accomplishments? Pwede ba? Yes. No? Sabi ng ating batas, yes. Sabi ng Commission on Election. Omnibus Election Code cannot be interpreted to extend to the social media accounts. In addition, what the law does not include, it excludes. No? So it only provides for the distribution of physical paraphernalia and does not account for social media but i think that uh, provision should be amended now we come now to your the last part of our discussion is the we have the eight mental health tips no to cope with the election so you have to be with your emotion be with your emotion in the moment because our brains no frequently create a worst case scenarios about the future that increase our stress and anxiety in the present we can also experience a great deal of of distress when reflecting on past upsetting events no in thinking about promoting good mental health during the election no so it is suggested no bringing your attention back to the present moment which really is the only no thing that is currently under our control in order to do that it can be helpful to take a break no to take a break from screens take several deep and slow breaths and bring your attention to the present moment and the space you are in Second, recognize and acknowledge your feelings. No? 
So research shows that recognizing and naming our emotion is a crucial step to reduce mental and emotional distress. Whatever the emotion may be, like for example, excitement, frustration, anger, etc., take a minute to reflect on what you are experiencing and then name it. Once you can name the emotion, you can then make some decision on what you need to do to cope with it. Third, monitor your social media intake. No? While being informed is important, it is equally important also to take a break no? from the 24-hour news cycle. Consider breaking up your news intake over the course of the day, possibly de dedicating a certain amount each day to getting caught, caught up and then turning it off. And also you have to be mindful of what information you are consuming and how of how much no, of it you are taking taking in because it will affect your mental health and also you have to make sure uh, your news is coming from the reputable and reliable sources self-care is vital due to the high level of stress that many people are currently experiencing related to this election it is vitally important to take care of yourself. No? Kasi hindi naman kayo bibigyan niya ng isang milyon pag nanalo ang mga manok nyo, pag nanalo ang inyong mga politicians. No? Look to those activities and or relationships that can help you to regulate your emotions and provide you with support and comfort. Connect with your community. No? Connect with your community. Reach out to those loved ones. Go outside. Do some mindfulness practice. Do some exercises. Spend time with a pet. Kung meron kayong pet. Listen to music. No? Create art. No? So mag-draw kayo. Mag-art. Mag Mag-painting kayo dyan. Okay. Tips for con conversation with your family, friends, and loved ones. Differing points of view. No? For example, may, meron kayong iba-ibang political views. No? You have to acknowledge no? your, differing, uh, your different political views. No? Upfront and set ground rules. Set up a, uh, a time for each speaker and both agree to be active listener. So you have to listen. No? Uh, agree that questions asked of one another are not accusations. No? Use I feel statements to express your point of view rather than hyperbole. No? So, iiwasan nyo yan. Kasi, karamihan sa atin, no? yun talaga ang nangyayari. Nag-aaway yung pamilya, no? nagkakaroon ng problema, nababangayan dahil sa iba-iba ang kanilang mga manok. No? Don't let conversation spread out of control. No? And also, uh, you have to limit substance use. Alcohol is ultimately a depressant and can have a negative impacts on both mental and physical health. And also, you have to find compassion. If your candidate won, take time to celebrate. But also, recognize that there are others who may feel like they have lost. We can choose to interact with others who may have differing points of view in a compassionate way, including being respectful of their reactions and feelings. No? And resources. When you, when you do find yourself in crisis, utilize the following services of, like for example, the... Uh, the National Center for Mental Health Crisis Hotline. No? We have uh, numbers for Luzon, uh, Luzon Landline, toll free. We have also for our Globe or TM subscribers. And we have also a number for Smart Sun and TNT subscribers. No? Okay, that's all. Thank you.
Okay, before I will end to my discussion, before I will end my discussion, uh, Barack Obama said, there's no such thing as a vote that doesn't matter. No? So lahat ng ating boto ay mahalaga. Okay? Thank you.